same bounce back. Arms are going to create the bounce by this initial movement. Inhale. So you're going to create this bounce, and the bounce with the arms is going to help the leg go back. And the leg going back like a kick is going to help the arms go forward, believe it or not. So everything works together like this. So if I'm going that way, you can second expand and use the arms, that bounce with the arms. So we time the bounce with the arms, with the back leg and the step, and then we stop. So the, the uh, literal translation of kime is stop. So kime translates as stop. So, yeah, we go into detail and say it, it means relax, tense, relax. But the actual translation means stop. Stop there. Right. So from here, go. And how I want you to do this, I'll, I'll go first, guys. Just watch it. What I want you to do is go slowly first. And then come back. And then the next one, what I'm going to do now, arms come in quickly. And I'm going to step quickly. So I want you to do one slowly and one fast. One. And then really fast. Okay, joy. And again, one slowly, one fast. Two. Three. So there's no better technique to practice this contraction and expansion than the first move of Dion. So we're just going to warm up with the first move of Gion. Okay. So, the feet together. Left hand open, right fist into the thick part of the hand. And then fingers wrap round. And you can even have the thumb, we don't mind. If you have the thumb at the side or in the center of the fist at the top. So at the side or on top of the fist. Again, that's your choice. So if I side die, it's the same position with the arms, the G on, elbows are bent, level with the bottom of the chin. Don't have your elbows out. Your elbows roughly level with the side of your body. Keep your wrists straight. Try not to do this. Try and keep your wrists straight as possible. Remember the thick part of the hand is where the fist is, the fingers overlapping. And as far as distance from you with your fists, make sure your fists are straight up and down from the elbow. Try not to be here, too far out, and try not to be too close to the body. Okay, so this is really good because when we contract on this movement, we expand in two directions. So the left leg shoots back, so we expand back with the leg, but we expand forward with the arms in the block strike uh, position. Okay, so first off, from here, I want you to just, and again, we don't mind if you come from the hip on the Yoshiuki or from just in front of the elbow. I, I keep my left hand open initially when it comes back to here. But again, we don't mind if you've got fists. So we don't mind if your arms are in this position, this position, or this position, the initial move. As long as everything is in close. Okay, so if I come back again, my arm, what I tend to do, my left hand just does this on the initial move. My right hand just drops and I, I'm, I'm almost hugging myself here. So I actually, I, I create tension with the right inside of the wrist 
against the outside of the left forearm and elbow. I push the elbow towards the right wrist and I pull the right wrist towards the body. So I create that tension. Okay, come back again. So from here, that first move has to be fast. Okay, but we'll go lightly first. One, and back again. Now once we're here, I'm going to drop my knees as I come in. One, and back again. So that feeling is contraction. You've got to contract. So my arms, the feeling is my arms are out, and I'm going to come in. So I'm coming. I'm curled up a spring really quickly. Try not to do this. Slowly. That movement is quick. One. And back again. So quick movement. Your head, chin stays in. Try not to do, don't do this. Don't put your head forward and your backside out. This initial movement look from here. Now my arms move quickly. Back stay straight. Just down. So you've contracted, you've coiled like a spring. When you uncoil, we'll go slowly first. Two. Now, when I shoot my left leg back, I want you to shoot, when we do it fast, I want you to shoot your, your left leg back like you're doing a back kick. That feeling. Drive it back like you're doing a back kick. When the arms go forward, I want to shoot your arms forward like you're punching and hitting with the back fist, going forward. So from there, they go forward. So that feeling, if I'm this way around, is my arms are going that way, my legs going that way. So you're expanding in two ways. So contract, expand, but we're going forward with the arms, back with the leg, and the feeling is forward with the body. Even though the body drops straight down over the front leg, don't come back, don't fall back on your back leg when you do this move. Don't fall back, and at the same time, don't lean forward. So your back is going to be straight, but it's driving forward. The feeling is forward. The feeling has to always be forward. Forward, forward, forward. Don't think back. Think forward. Okay, so now we're putting it all together. Your Easy. One. And now I want you to drive that left leg back. Two. Shoulder square, hip square. Don't be with your hip out and try to turn your body round. Keep your hip round, shoulder square. Make sure you're wide enough in your stance. Don't be too narrow. Don't be too narrow in your stance. And back again. So first count. Contract. Think coil like a spring. We do it. We do it lightly. Coil like a spring. One. I'm in close. I've got this tension created now. Two. And back. One. Left leg back. Feeling forward. Keep your back straight. <laughs> Two. Keep your head still as well. And back. For now, nice and slowly. So as I prepare, one, and back again, two, but take your time, and back again. So when I do this slowly, what I tend to do is build up. So I do what we tell you not to do when you do it fast. I start slowly and then go a little bit faster on the move. So I can feel that contraction. I can feel myself coiling like a spring. But at the same time, I keep my form. So on this move, I'll come in here slowly. I feel myself, feel everything contract and come in. And then as I step back, expand. 
One. Three times yourself slowly. Hug the mat. You seem to be going out. Don't go out with it, guys. Don't go out. Yes, it goes out, but it goes forward. So it comes across at an angle. A couple of you went up. Don't go up. So think about if you're coming from the hip or the front of the elbow, the arm cuts across your center line. Say shoe ten, center line. The arm cuts across and fall. And then the fist has to stop. A couple of you were like this at the end, guys. If you could amber eye, if you could amber eye, fist or open hand, strike like a punch. Yes, it's good amber eye. But go like a punch forward and stop that arm. So both arms. Stop. Try not to have any wobble. Okay, we're going to sharpen up now, guys. So, this is where you use that bounce. Now, when I say bounce back, arms are going to create the bounce by this initial movement. And the bounce with the arms is going to help the leg go back. And the leg going back like a kick is going to help the arm go forward, believe it or not. So everything works together like this. So if I'm going that way, you can straighten and expand and use the arms, that bounce with the arms. So we time the bounce with the arms, with the back leg with the step, and then we stop. So the, the uh, literal translation of Kime is stop. So Kime translates as stop. So yeah, we go into detail and say it, it means relax, tense, relax. But the actual translation means stop, stop there. Right. So from here, yo. And how I want you to do this, I'll, I'll go first, guys. Just watch it. What I want you to do is go slowly first, then come back, and then the next one, what I'm going to do now, arms come in quickly, and I'm going to step quickly. So I want you to do one slowly and one fast. One. And then really fast. Okay, yo, and again, one slowly, one fast. Explode into motion, 
your arms explode into motion. And when you step back, stop. You're gonna stop there. Try not to do this. A couple of you are a bit, the hip out. Showing square. Bring your hip round, bring your body round square. Now, three times fast and get your arms going quickly. Okay, that was excellent, guys. So that's a really good technique because our thing, I mean, we did plan this, obviously. Contraction, expansion, one of the best techniques to practice that is the first move of Gion, or Gion. Gion's even better. So the first move of Gion, because your legs going one way, your arms are going another, it's so good to practice that contraction, coil like a spring and a comp. Try and match your legs up with your arm speed and not slowing your arms down with your leg speed. Okay, guys, feet together. Ready? Oh! 